23 tops finest flashback PYT number 19. The bounty is up to $3,400. Whenever I say that, I always try to do it like that guy Ray from White Men Can't Jump after he loses to Woody and Wesley. And then he goes in and tries to rob the store. He's like, Raymond, give me that piece. <laughs> With the Wayne's brother father. The guy that owns the store. Seventeen hundred. Nice, Scarlet. Sweet. Damn, Efro, your girl's reputation precedes herself. If I hit the lottery, I would unload a million dollars on the on the coolest magic collection of all time. I would. I would get I would get beta PSA 9 everything. And I would freaking play with it. I played in a tournament here in Vegas recently. It was the first tournament I played in since the mid-90s. Honestly, I really hope that they, like, continue to improve the rarity of Magic cards because I would love for the values to increase to the point where I could rip it and it'd be more of a collectible... Like, you know, more, like, kind of like baseball cards, honestly. I want people to be on the hunt like they were for that, the ring card. I We need more of that in Magic. I feel like Lorcana is doing it right. I, I, you have no idea how much I want to rip. It's just not, the problem is the margins, the, there's no money in it. I can't convince, I can't, I can't convince backer for me to rip magic here at the Blez because there's no money in it for him. There's The margins are so small. The product is so inexpensive. A box of magic cards, 100 bucks. We can't, honestly, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We can't make any money on it at Blez, so we so he won't let me do it. It's like Lorcana's four times the price of magic, so there's actually, there's actually margin. There's money that could be made, so I, he'll let me rip Lorcana if we can get Lorcana. But he's he, there's no money in magic, so I can, he won't let me rip it. I would I would, I mean I I just say this to joke around. Obviously I don't really mean it, but I I I, just, I say I would kill a small puppy, <laughs> just to just to rip magic cards here at the Blaze. I would never kill a small puppy for anything, but it's just a, it's an expression. <laughs> but I would I would really love to rip magic cards. What's up, Minty Fresh? Are you sober yet from your Rangers victory? <laughs> Margarine. What is that? The fake butter? Is that the fake butter? Margarine was really popular for a long time. Is it still popular? <laughs> so, uh, like a knife through... Like a hot knife through butter, right? Like a hot knife through margarine. Is it? They still use it? 
I don't cook. I don't bake. I don't know anything. So all I know is magic cards, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Nice. Good luck, Sappy. Wherever you guys are doing the Sterling, best of luck. I hope all of you crush it. I want the Blez family to kill it wherever they are. Good. Let's go. Sappy? What team you got, Sappy? What team does he have, Brugboo? Tigers? Who does he have? The Tigers? The Mets? The Tigers? Oh, the National League Central. Nice. Me too, Erie. I like that country croc. That's good stuff. I mean, I liked Sterling last year, but I've heard not wonderful things about it this year. But I don't want to... I'm not trying to talk shit about Sterling. I don't really know... I just, I liked it last year. I really did like Sterling last year. I will say that. I really enjoyed Sterling last year. I pulled some really good cards out of Sterling last year. I like the format of Sterling, how they gave you the five little mini boxes. I like Sterling, but, but I heard that the price is a little rough this year. We have a peel card. We'll do a guess for that when we get there, for that peel card. I don't know anything about resale. I just know that I like the cards, but I don't know enough about them. Damn, this this box right here that I just opened, we're going to do this box left. Less, because there's a bunch of rare cards in this box and a peel to 10. So this box clearly was the one you wanted if this was a Percy. Really, Gramps? Lots of Mets and Sterling this year? Why is the resale so bad on Sterling? It's a nice product. I pulled some really good, like, Lawlers and Ellie De La Cruzes. I pulled some really nice cards out of, out of some Torx. I think I pulled some really good cards out of Sterling last year. I haven't seen what the cards look like yet, Brugvu. The one beautiful thing about this hobby is that there's... You can like whatever you like. There's nobody forcing your hands on liking something specific. We're all allowed to enjoy whatever we want to enjoy from the hobby in terms of the products. Some people like Allen and Ginter. Some people don't. Some people are Bowman only. Some people aren't. And I respect that. And that's what makes this hobby one of the things that makes this hobby, hobby so wonderful is that everybody can collect exactly what they want. Like I always say this. If I was a Rockies fan, I would just collect everything purple. I would have purple everything. Purple everything. You know what I mean? If I was an A's fan, I would have green everything. Exactly, exactly, Erie. Everybody has their preferences. Exactly. I like Diamond Icons, but exactly. Like, Diamond Icons is really popular, and you don't like it. You know, it's, it's t it, to each his own, and that's what makes this hobby so wonderful. If everybody liked the same shit, nobody would collect. It's like I always say about poker. If we all played the same way, there wouldn't be any games. We all collect what we love. It's different. We all collect what we want. That's the beauty of the hobby. So one of the things that makes this hobby so goddamn special is you collect what you want. I always compare it to that concept in poker. If we all played the same way, there wouldn't be a game. If we all collected the same stuff in exactly the same way, there wouldn't be a hobby. It would it wouldn't it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be as in, as wonderful and enticing as it is in so many ways. It wouldn't be nearly as enjoyable if we all collected the same shit and we prioritize the same stuff. Exactly, like Minty can't stand Dynasty, but Dynasty is like 
some people like live for Dynasty. Like Wapo loves Dynasty. You know what I mean? Like Dynasty is a really cool product to some, and to others they hate it. It's like to each his own. I really mean it. That's what makes this hobby so freaking wonderful. It's because you guys can co you can collect whatever you want to collect, however you want to collect it. That is what makes this freaking hobby so special. <laughs> Eerie says Dynasty is a trash product. It's his favorite product in the world. Eerie, we know you're that. Uh, honestly, I can't see the forest from the trees, but. When, when, when Eerie says a dynasty is trash, now I know we're being trolled. And that is going to be, I can already feel it. That's the auto right there. I'm just going to put it right down. I can just, I can just tell. I can just tell. I can tell. I can see. I can walk. I have legs. Thank you, officer. Lindor on the UC. Seeger. Is there a problem, officers? Maddie Chapman, good luck everybody, PYT19 of the flashbacks is now. Corbin on the base. But like, again, everybody has their preference. Okay, so there's a peel. I thought that I put the box with the peel in the back, but maybe we have two. Maybe we have two. Let's put it down. We'll come back to it. Guess, are right, ready? Here, let's do this. Let's just do this. Everybody guess the it's we ha, I think we have two peel cards. I'm just going to give away $42 for each for every peel card we have in this case. That's what we're going to do. Guess the peel cards. You get one guess. It will apply to all the peel cards in this case. I think we have at least two. Because I think we have one in the back and now we have another one that I found. So I think Unless I mix up the piles, I think we have at least two peels, which would be one more than we've hit in any case so far. I've only hit one in a case so far, so hitting two in a case is a dream. So two peels, $42 a peel. Guess your peel. You get one guess. Everybody gets one guess. It will apply to both peel cards, or every peel card that we hit in this break. Your one guess, okay? $42 holla if you get it right. Just looking for the refractors as we begin our journey through this delicious case. There's a refractor. Ooh, it's Lindor. Lindor on the Uncommon is our refractor. Los Mets. Since Graham said something nice about the Mets, it had to be a, had to be a, uh, a Met on the refractor. I really liked Sterling last year. I haven't seen it this year yet. But I liked it last year. I'm not going to say I'm happy or sad that we're not getting it. I kind of wish we had it, but I also, Backer, you know, Backer knows what he's doing, so I don't question Backer's authority. <laughs> All right, there's a rare in the back of my hand. Contreras on the uncommon. Good luck, everybody. This product is growing on me. Bonos! Bonos baseball. K-Fed and the Royals. It's Bo Jackson, probably the greatest athlete ever. Greatest athlete of all time. Bo Jackson. On the rare. For the Royals. Another rare coming up. There's Jazzle Dazzle on the Uncommon. J-Ram Uncommon and a rookie rare of the J-Walker. Jordan Walker, Walker Flocker. Here we go for the Cardinals. The Onion continues his, his heater today. Jordan Walker on the rare. Jordan Walker on the rare. Guess the peels for $42 a piece. There's Freddie Freeman on the Uncommon. I'm going to show one of the peels soon, and then we'll save the other peel for the end. Salvi on the Uncommon. Let's check for Refractor. Let's check for Refractor. There it is. Goldie. Goldberg the goalie. 
Goldschmidt is our refractor for the Cardinals. All right, let's go to that peel. Let's get that peel card. Let's get him primed up. Oh, shit. I cut the deck straight to a Corbin Carroll rare. Not intentional. Wow, there's a lot of rares in this pile. There's a lot of rares in this handful. Corbin. Corbin rare. For Guy Tree Fitty. Let's go, Guy. Nice hit, dude. Gunner on the base. This could be the auto here. I might have put the wrong pile in the back for the auto. A rare of Julio for KFED and the Mariners. And I was like, Emilio! Cal Ripken Jr. AMPM gets a rare piece. What's going on? This box is loaded. This is, is this the auto? It's not. Wow, what a loaded freaking box. Just so many rares. It's a broken... We have a glitch box. We have a glitch box. Because this four rares in one box is insane. Vargas. Vargas on the rare now for the Dodgers going to Mr. Carl. Now let's show the peel. This is going to win somebody $42 if, if anybody got it right. A peel card to 10 of Steve Kwan. 9 out of 10 for Ed Ram and the guards. On the Quan Peel to 10. I like Quan. Did he win? Does, did Quan win gold glove this year or is he going to? I'm allergic to that chrome dust though. Let's get that chrome dust out of there. Is Quan winning gold glove? Honest question. God, I hate the chrome dust. It drives me crazy. Nice Quan there to 10. Beautiful. Lindor on the uncommon. Still got to find that refractor. Maybe it's one of the rare cards. Maybe that's why we got an extra rare. Let me take a look at the rares here. Vargas, no. Cal, no. Julio, no. Corbin, no. What a box, though. Oh, there it is. Lennon Sosa. White Sox refractor. We press on. Did anybody guess? Steve Kwan? Probably not. <laughs> Texas World Series. Amen, brother. The champs are here. Lou Bob on the uncommon. Whoa. Whoa, Mr. Liberatore. Doing a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Do, 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 do. Get down tonight. Buxton on the uncommon. Wait. Wait for the line. Wait for the line. Wait for the line. When Esplez does that wait for the line shit, it makes me think of Braveheart. Hold! <laughs> Hold! <laughs> Hold! It's like a cross between that and the tug of war, the tug of war scene. In uh, in 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 what's it called? In uh, Squid Games. It's a cross between Braveheart and tug of and tug of war Squid Games. Hold! Okay. Let's 
continue. Not missing any refractors. Do 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 do. Gunner base. Acuna Jr. on the uncommon. Nice. Haven't seen him too much. Here's a rare of Yoshida. We've been this card has been pouring out today. We've hit so many rares of Yoshida. It's been a Yoshida kind of day. There's Boba Shed on the uncommon. Here's Corbin on the base. Boba Shed, another uncommon of Bo, in a matter of like X cards. Uncommon of Chris Bryant and a rare of Derek Jita for Thin Blue and the Yankees. Gets you on the board, Thin Blue. We'll take it. Uncommon of Shea Lang Lears. And now let's see if we can find more refractors. Refractors. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah. Noise, noise, yeah. It's true. Some people love the noise. I mean, I personally wouldn't enjoy it myself if I was on your guys' side. But I appreciate the compliment of it, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Library. Yeah, noise, noise is productive. It's true. Corbin on the base. Alonzo, uncommon. Seeger, uncommon. I asked this question before. I'm not sure if I saw the answer. Did you guys see that Jeter said that Seeger is now his new favorite player? <laughs> I kind of like that. Not that I necessarily care what Jeter's favorite player is, but I just liked seeing him give Seeger those compliments for being such a good leader and a producer. Was respect from one legend to a current star. I don't either, D, but like I said, it's not, you know, different strokes for different folks. Here's a rare Vladdy Jr. Vladdy Jr. for Mr. Hungus. That's a refractor I can tell from a mile away. Dalton Varshow. Back to the Blue Jays. He'll join Bok Choi, or excuse me, Bok... Uh, Guerrero Jr. on the rare. Refractor for Carl. <laughs> Gramps. <laughs> Bryce. Uncommon of CJ. Rare coming up. Mount Castle uncommon first. The rare is Roger Maris. The Yankees don't miss. Thin blue with a rare. You got Jeter now. You got Maris. Did you hit Maris already? No, you didn't. That's your first Maris of this case. The Yankees never miss in this product. They really don't. They're the best team for sure. The Yankees are the best team in this product, in my opinion. Matteo on the uncommon. <laughs> Craps. I mean, he is a damn good player, isn't he? Seeger is a damn good player. Impressed the hell out of me. Crawford on the uncommon. And Alvi for the Mets to Efro on the rare. We'll take it, Efro. That's what we're looking for. Little Alvy and the Chipmunks. On the rare. I feel like there's a bunch of those, Dave.
That's yeah. That's what they decoped. Just said the same thing I did. Shea Lang Lears. Gunner Base, Alec Thomas Uncommon, Corbin on the base, a lot of rookies in that handful, Giancarlo Uncommon, a rare of Ripken Jr., I once watched, you guys have probably seen this, I watched a documentary on Ripken Jr. a long time ago about how he changed his stance a thousand times and his batting, his swing. There's Contreras in the uncommon. I know that Ripken is famous for changing his batting swing and his stance like a million times. One of the things that he's famous for, obviously, the Iron Man, but... It was like he, like, played the fiddle with his bat and, like, it's all this crazy shit that he did with his bat over the course of his career. I'm guessing to, like, snap slumps and stuff like that. Maybe the refractor is uh, uncommon, or did I miss it? Or does it not exist? I don't see any refractor. One, two, three, four. Well, I guess it could be in that last handful over there. When is it coming out? Barry Sanders was a legend, but he was also a character. And he quit so early. Crawford on the UC. And another Alvy Rare for Efro and the Mets. B -b -b Benny and the Jets. Baby. Baby. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> That'll be the day. Do, 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 and that'll be the day. Javi Baez on common. I guess it's possible that we have like a rare refractor that I did I overlooked. It's possible. It's possible. Check here. It's possible we got short of the refractor. I'm not sure. I only found four so far, but we have like one and a quarter boxes, so it's possible that they're in there. Um, no, that's a new one. These are all new, D. D these are all new. And I got more hiding back there. I just I couldn't fit everything on the stage. Like, there's a Jeter auto that's hiding behind the Volpe auto over there. Trey Turner, you see. Corbin on the base. Julio on the rare. Nice. Another Julio. We've hit a bunch of those. And then another rare is... Oh, it's an auto. Here's our auto. It is Mr. Albert Pujols. 36 out of 100, the onion is hot. When you're hot, you're hot. Pujols, Inc. 36 out of 100 on the Albert. Uh, the bow is, I think, 30. I think it's 30 out of... I think it's 30 out of 100 on the bow. If I, that's just from memory. I mean, I guess I could look at it. Yeah, 30 out of 100 on the bow. Nice Albert Inc. We love King Albert. Nice hit for the onion. Onion is hot today, man. I said it earlier. Onion is hot. When you're hot, you're hot. 
Just looking for refractors, guys. All right, we have another peel card. Let's see if any of the guesses are victorious. If you haven't guessed yet, most people already have guessed. But the peel card, I'm giving away 42 for each of them. There's Cole. So let's see what this one is. Good luck. It's Adley. Adley on the peel. Adley, 5 out of 10. We have hit so much Adley today, man. Between what Hawk hit earlier and what I've hit, what I've hit. Adley to 10. 5 out of 10. Carl, you guessed it? <laughs> AM, PM with a beautiful Adley to 10. Our second peel. We might have a third peel card. I honestly don't know. Adley to 10. Carl, you guessed it? Hell yeah. All right, let me put it on your account real quick. Done. I just put 42 bucks in your account. Nice guess. Sir, that's, that is how the cookie crumbles, Mr. Efro. At least we hit you a couple Alvi rares in this case so far. Let's check for the refractors. Let's not find any, and let us carry on. So I thought there was an auto in that pile back there, so it's, I guess it's not an auto, unless, I, unless we have a double auto, but I, I can't imagine that we have two in one case unless we're very lucky. But I put that other one back there because I was pretty sure it was the auto. Kyle Tucker. Ooh, this is a refractor. Oh, no, it's not. Wow. Looks like it is. Tucker on the UC. There's the refractor. Norgore. Norgore for the Cardinals. He'll join the Pujols auto. He is a refractor. Rookie refractor of Nolan Gorman. The Onion. Absolutely slaying it. Big hardy handful here. We have a rare down there. Hunter Green on the uncommon. Oop. Sorry, Alvy, don't hate me. Vaughn Grisham, uncommon. Rare of the big hurt. Lee gets a big hurt rare. Mr. Baseball, I guess the replacement for Tom Selleck, the real original Mr. Baseball. But the Big Hurt, very nice for Razor. You go, Lee. And now let's see what Brown thought the auto was. What the hell is this down there? Brown thought this was an auto, so let's see what it is. Gunner on the base. I thought it was an auto. I guess it's not. Giancarlo. Uncommon. One, two, three, four. Still looking for a fifth or a sixth refractor. I wonder if it's in this little pile here. Reese Hoskins, uncommon. We we did it. We have two autos. We have a two auto case. I was right. Brown Dog is not crazy. We have a we have a two auto case, boys. We have a two auto case. A, our first two auto case here at Blaze. I, I I was I, it looked like an auto. I was pretty sure that card was an auto, so I put it in the back. I'm not crazy. I'm happy that I'm not crazy. Makes me feel good that I am not crazy, <laughs> right? I am not crazy, and that's Mo, and I haven't seen Mo yet. For thin blue in the Yankees. 41 out of 101 off the jersey number. It's Mariano Rivera Auto. The Yankees continue to crush, but I'm happy that it's a different name at least. Mariano Rivera for Thin Blue Baseball with the on-card autograph. Only thing that'd make this card better is if it was 42 out of 100. It's 41 out of 100, but you know what? I think Thin Blue is happy. 
as is 41 to 100 on the greatest autograph in the hobby. It's crazy, right, Mr. Library? It's true. You read my mind. I was thinking the same thing. I'm thrilled that we got a bonus auto in this case. Two autos in one case. Let's go. Now we know it's possible. Let's freaking go. Let's see if we had an... I wonder if they gave us an extra auto because they shorted us a refractor. Deal. Deal. Let's make that trade again. Extra auto and one less refractor. Deal. Sign me up. Can we do that every case, Fanatics? Can we... Can You can short me... You can short me a refractor any day if you give me an extra auto. They did short us a refractor in this case, but they gave us a bonus auto. So I am definitely not complaining. That was a good trade. A good trade. Let's do a recap. This was a really good case. Two freaking autos, baby. Let's go. Here were the refractors. They shorted us one, but that's okay. Norgor, Varsho, Lennon, Sosa, Goldie, and an uncommon refractor of Lindor for Ephra in the Mets. Then we had some rares. Some rares. Let's take a look. Big Hurt, Ripken Jr., Maris, Derek, Jita. Another Ripken and Bo Nose on the rare franchise vets. Julio times two plus Jordan Walker. Alvy and the Chipmunks twice on the rare. Vladdy Jr., Yoshida, Vargas, and Corbin Carroll. For Guy Tree fitting in the Diamondbacks. Nice rare there. The rare air up there. Was that the Kevin Bacon film? The air up there? And we had a couple numbered pieces. Adley. To 10. Yeah, he, he, he was it was gonna it was a win-win, Thin Blue. For Thin Blue, he couldn't he couldn't miss, right? Right, Erie? Adley, five out of ten. Steve Kwan, 9 out of 10. Two peel cards and two autos. Two autos, one case. Mariano, 41 out of 100. And Albert, 36 out of 100. Two autos in one case. Our first time doing that. They shorted us a refractor and they gave us an extra auto deal. Deal. Sign me up. Thank you so much for joining PYT number 19. The bounty goes up to 3,500. Excellent case. Excellent case. He has the best signature in the hobby, always. It's just true. Mariano's signature is a work of art. He's like a calligraphist. Thank you for joining. Excellent case, boys. Thank you.